and so all around me we have HS2 started to stamp their mark on the surrounding. Test that all my pipe work is good, a bit of a refill needed. It always amazes me how long it takes to refill a water tank. I suppose it's because you're waiting, isn't it? So I'm absolutely loving the fact that I'm going to be able to tile this with just 10 tiles. I managed to get these, which are great. So basically, there we go, three in that direction and one across the top there. Right, so. So by the time I've got my gaps in for my tiles, bring me to the end there. Uh, I'm just going to trim this top. Brilliant, nice and easy. But I do really like those because they're busy, they look nice. Um, they're not bland, but at the same time, the colours are quite subtle. So um, I think it's going to really look really nice. On, on the base, we've just got some, they're like a slate colour really. So that. Uh, that complements quite well with those colours. So we're really happy with that. This whole thing, uh, 10, 20, um, it's cost about 22 quid in tiles. <laughs> so a um, couple of bo boxes that were broken. Um, there was one tile missing that I didn't need. So um, fantastic. I've just now got to work out how to secure all this and I've made a bracket um, just out of some angle um, angle stainless which uh, I want to tighten up. That goes uh, nicely behind here and will come off this it's off the side of the boat and fix onto this so uh, that should do the job there and then little angles like this um, will go into there under the tiles so the tiles will sit on top of that and there again so a couple of those into here couple on the back edge there. Uh, again, some sort of angles at the top here, I'm going to look at that. Um, but I've got steel and stuff behind here, as I said earlier, so that should be fine. Well, look what's arrived. Oh, oh, oh. Exciting times, exciting times. This is the final piece in the jigsaw, until I find one or two missing pieces. Anyway, let's have a look. I've got a little hammer here to... Uh... Well, that was my worry. You did 
just don't know, dear, who these things. Cool. Nice. Happy. You happy? I think so. Oh, good. Oh, well, no. <laughs> no, I am happy. Just don't take all the packaging off, though, because I know what you like. Now you've done all that, how are you going to carry it securely to the boat? I'm carrying it now. Yeah, but without breaking the glass and everything like that. I'm going to break the glass. Glass. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> So now to work out how to put the feet on the stove. It's all very exciting stuff. Looks simple enough. just going to go into that. That must be a captive, that's just a threaded hole isn't it? Yeah, so that's, I don't know why they've sent me nuts. Why have I got nuts? I'm going nuts. And then once I've done this I can put it into position on my hearth. It was only 230 quid as opposed to a more so squirrel at about 600 quid. So the other thing I'm having an issue with at the moment is how do I fix direct this fireboard because I was told sort of big, a good really sticky no more nails type grabber but it doesn't, it, nothing sticks to that it feels it just falls straight off nothing nothing sticks to that so but I was told you can tile straight onto it I, what am I doing wrong uh, I'm getting there. I'm quite happy with that. So there's no holes in the feet uh, because this has to be fixed to the bed. So um, I'm going to have to sort that out. But it's all right, isn't it? I'm quite pleased with that. Once those tiles are up, that'll look nice. I need to get on with it though now. I, it's one of those things though, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> it's like it's been another month without work, without proper paid work. Or, you know, a couple of days. So struggling now, because every time we go to B&Q or Wix or something, you know, just for a few bits, it ends up being 20, 30 quid. I've still got to buy the, uh, the flu pipe and the the big collet thing that comes to the roof and 
all those bits and bobs, fireproof silicon and stuff. It's a bit depressing in a way. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I want my fan, don't I? I need, I'll need a fan. You know, one of them things that just that goes off the heat. I don't know where I'll get one of those from. I'll, I'll probably, I'll have run out of money definitely by then, and then and then I'll just go without that. Apparently they were they were for sale at uh, Aldi apparently a week or so ago, and I missed it. They're supposed to be quite cheap and very good on the you know the centre aisle at Aldi, where all the all the blokes sort of muster. Um, yeah, I wish I'd have got one of those. Because that will be, it'll be that. It'll be something like that that I end up, that's when my budget's gone and like, right, okay, I can't afford 30 quid for a fan. It's like, oh, all of a sudden coming across a bit depressing. I'm not, I'm not depressed. Look, look, it's coming on. It's going to be great. Um, my next, my next big um, trial will be how I f finish it. This sort of thing. Around there. I'm going to, I've got excess of these, uh, half tiles so I can cut some of those I'll, I'll be able to do that and um, I'm going to put some metal bar around here that stands proud so the metal bar is just sort of screwed straight down through will give me um, will give me a, a small um, edge as such like a raised edge so anything falling out um, won't necessarily go down onto any carpet that's going to be down here so I'm just thinking ahead. Cool! Crack on!